Hey everybody, this is Jim, and today I'm going to show you about the iframe section of my photo app. The iframe section is named after the HTML iframe tag, and what it does is it lets you embed another website within a website. And uh, it may be a website or it may be some content on the internet somewhere. So the way it works within my photo app is you can embed... Um, content that's not contained within the app. Probably one of the most common examples I can think of is a lot of people like to embed a Google map into their websites. Well, with MyFootApp's um, new enhanced capabilities in version 7 of being a mobile website, I wanted to provide the same capabilities for you. So, let's start get started and I'll show you how to embed a mobile, um, I'm sorry, a Google uh, map into your app. So here I have an app. So the first thing I want to do is add uh, a new section. So let me click add section and down here is an iframe. So let me add the iframe section. It went to the bottom here. Let me move it up here just underneath the gallery. So here I've got my model app and now I have a gallery and it shows um, a skeleton of frame because we haven't specified anything yet. So We've got one way of uh, two ways to edit this. We can either click on this area here, or I can click on the icon, the the cog icon over here to the left. But let me go back in here and just click on this, and up comes the settings. There's two settings. One is the label, and let me give us a label like uh, uh, location map. That's a good name for it. And then a URL. And uh, many times you may know what the URL is. But in the case of a Google map, we have to go generate one. So let's go over here to Google, and I'll show you how to do that. So here's just a plain Google search. And what I search on is embed Google map. It's Mac Inner. And then up here, the very first one, it says Google map embed API. Let me click on it. And it says, okay, let's build a map. And what I'll do is I'll click on build map. And it says what place to or address I want to highlight. And I want to highlight my studio. So that's Cook Designer. And I keep typing until it finds it. And there it is right here at the top. Cook Designer Portraits in Georgetown. That's us. Click on it. And then over here to the right, let me scroll this over so you can see it. Comes up a little uh, sneak peek of the map. And sure enough, that's our studio and our location. Okay, this is great. Now what this also does is it gives you because Google doesn't know what you want to do with this, but it gives you the whole iframe source. So it gives you everything that normally goes in an iframe. But all you need for my photo app is the source, which is basically the URL of where the content is. Now, here's the source. It's all in bold here. And you'll notice here at the end it has key equals dot, dot, dot. If you read this uh, documentation on this embed API, this, this uh, Google Maps API requires that you have a special key um, an API key to use this. Well, I have an API key already defined with Google that works with myphotoapp.com. So if you host your um, um, apps on the My Photo App site uh, without having a custom URL, the key I'm going to provide you here will work. If you have a custom URL, you're going to need to go off and go to this embed site and generate your own key. So let me just get going here. I'm going to copy the URL. Well, actually, I don't need the dots. So up to the, the equals. I'm going to copy it. I'm going back here to my photo app where the URL is. Click in here. And at the end, I have the key equals. i got to put an API key in here. Over here on my clipboard, which you cannot see because it's off screen, I've got the key. I'm going to copy it and come back in here. And since I went off, it went to the end. I mean, it moved the cursor. Let me scroll to the end here and paste it and that's my API key. So this API key you can use as well if you're using the non-custom URLs and I'm going to put this key in the help section um, under the frequently, frequently asked questions so you can just copy and paste it in very easily. I don't need to try and type it off this video. So let me click save. And now I've got uh, an example, well not example, the skeleton's still here, but it's not red anymore because I've got it filled in with a URL. And the name is location map, which just matches over here.
But to actually see this work, because this is the visual design, it doesn't actually have many things work, I click over here on Publish App and bring up the app. And sure enough, here's my app. Let me just come down here, and there it is. Right here is my Google Map that's embedded within my app. The uh, Google uh, Embedded API has a fully functional map here in the sense of you can get directions to your studio, you can click save, you can do reviews, you can come over here and click you know the plus sign to zoom in and out. So this all works within an app, so it's pretty cool. So if you have any questions, um, send me an email at support at myphotoapp.com or uh, drop me a, a question over on the Facebook group. Thanks.